Hi, my name is Nicole Larocco Skian, and this DVD is called Game On Using Interactive Training Games to Spice Up Group Classes and Strengthen Your Obedience Skills. Why should you teach games in class? A lot of people just think that games are fluff, that games are fun, but I'm here to tell you they're a fantastic way to teach basic, intermediate, and advanced skills in a really fun way. Teaching games is going to set you apart from other dog trainers. I mean, let's face it, we've all been to that dog training class, haven't we? That six week standard class where week one they teach sit, week two they teach down, week three they teach stay, week four you're starting to lose people because they're getting a little bored or they feel that they've gotten what they need, week five you just chug along, and by week six you think, mm, okay, I took a dog training class, I'm good. But let me tell you, teaching games in class will keep people coming back. It's fun, and that's why we're going to do it. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I'm a dog trainer, but I'm also a business owner, and that's where this comes in. It's easy for me to get people into classes. Getting them to commit is, is the easy part, because they need a dog trainer. They need to do something with their dog. They need a class. But how do I get them to stay past that first six-week initial class? Even better, how do I get them to go home and tell all their friends, I went to this amazing dog training class where this chick played games with us, the dogs had fun, we didn't sit, we went in, we moved for an hour, my dog went home and sacked out all night long. That's how you get people to come back. The other way we're going to get people into games is because we want to challenge them on all different levels. Again, you're, you're teaching the same kind of things that everybody else is. I'm not reinventing dog training here with games. You know how to teach sit, you know how to teach down, but this is a new style and this is going to show you how to challenge your students so that if you have a brand new dog here and a more advanced dog here, they can both get something out of this game. So the way we're going to teach this DVD is we are going to run this as a group class. In the group class, you're going to see all levels of dogs, from very, very basic dogs to very advanced dogs. And they're all going to be learning the same games, but with different modifications for their level. Let's get started. We're going to start with our foundation level games. This is a collection of games designed to teach foundation level cues in a fun way. The game we're going to play now is called Rammy Time. Rammy Time is a foundation level game that is going to teach the cues sit, release cue, and a little bit of stay. It's also going to teach your dog how to settle. Let's just see you guys do some sit, take a break. Sit, take a break. What I want you to do is vary the amount of time between your sit and your take a break. So maybe one time that you do a sit, take a break, it's only about a second in between. Another time you do a sit and take a break, maybe you've got a whole like 15, 20 seconds in there. So it's just varying the time that you're sitting and taking a break. Nice job, Cole. Nice, Uli. And so another point to remember, you don't actually have to reward when they take a break. I would reward for the sit, but when you're doing take a break, the act of getting up and moving off of the stay is actually your reward for this. So we have to remember about rewards, guys. Rewards are not always food. A lot of times they're food. If you have Uli, she'd like to not acknowledge that there are other rewards besides food, but you can use the simple act of breaking from a stay as your reward in many occasions. Uli says, no, forget it. I'll take the food. Thanks. <laughs> I'll stay all I want, but give me the food. Good. And ask her to break. No reward for the break, even though she's going to punch her treat bag until she gets one. The next game we're going to play is called Temptation Tower. Temptation Tower is a fun, fast-paced game that is going to strengthen your leave it cue. Now when you teach leave it, the leave it that we're going to do here is going to be a leave it on the floor. If you're just starting to teach it, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to teach it. But let's get started. So for leave it, the first stage in leave it is to have the dog leave it while it's still in your hand. You need two hands for this one. So you're going to drop your leash and you're going to step on it because you don't want your dog to go anywhere, but you still need them. Still need them to be here. You've got treats in your right hand, treats in your left hand. So treats in both. I always tell people, got that? Treats in your right hand, treats in your left hand. Big thumbs up, touch your shoulders with your thumbs. That's how far apart you want your hands. So shoulder width apart. So thumbs up, touch your shoulders with your hands, 
and then come down. That's where the treat should be. Allow your dog to see a treat in one hand. Tell them, leave it. Yes. Say it one time and wait. When the dog redirects off of your hand and to the other one, feed with the opposite hand. So if he's starting with the treat in my left hand, I say leave it. When he backs off, I feed from my right. Leave it. Yes. Even just that little head flip. Leave it. Are you thinking? Yes. <laughs> there you are. 30 seconds. Let me know if you need more biscuits. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Hands up. Stand up. Now, if you have basic students, this is where you count your biscuits and off you go. If you have advanced students, which we do, we are going to do a recall one at a time. Wendy, back up. Say. Call him past those treats. Good say. Good say. Oh. Good. Call Cole. Cole, come. Ooh. So okay, ready? Call Porter. <laughs> 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 All right, let's count. Let's see who our winner is. <laughs>on recall is one of those cues that's a little elusive. Everybody sees it, it's very impressive, yet a lot of people don't know how to teach it. There's a very easy way and I'm going to show you how to do it right now and then we're going to play a game called the dollar drop. I'll explain the game to you later, later but let's get right into teaching a nice drop on recall. Can I borrow Shia? Of Come. Good girly. Good. Down. Good. Go, Mark. Nice. And call. Good. 